what is up guys welcome to our next game maker April 1 tutorial in this tutorial we're going to go over a simple health system that I did around 5 minutes ago so um yeah if you've ever played Zelda which I'm sure most of you have and if you haven't I really suggest you do um that's a heart based system so instead of a bar which um game maker supports which isn't that good doesn't look that great we're going to be using hearts instead and this tutorial is going to explain that so just create uh, a sprite first and call it sprite heart. Now this sprite's going to have two sub images, and for me it's going to be eight by six, eight by six pixels. Um, I, I'm actually going to scale this up later, but um, if you want to have a bigger sprite, that's fine by me. But for this sprite, make sure that's black and then just create a simple sprite there we go now that's the outline but what we want is um, is the fill for it so just copy and paste that with control C and control V and just fill it with a red now just about the outline so it's just the fill color and now we're ready get to get started with some code don't send it this bright because it's essential that you don't I'll explain that is, uh, in a minute once we get on to the uh, four statements but create an object and just call it object heart assign this bright so we know where it is and in the create event we're going to have two variables one's going to be max health Oops. one's going to be max health and it's going to equal 20 and the other one's going to say health equals max health so health equals 20 as well now to make sure we can test this properly we're going to add a step event uh, you don't really need to add this, but this is just uh, to show that it works. Just put if keyboard check pressed VK left and health is above zero, then health minus equals one. So this makes it so that when I press the left arrow key and health is above zero, health equals minus uh, health minus equals one so it subtracts it by one this is just for testing purposes um, copy and paste that again and change VK left to VK right to make sure health is below max health not max max there we go and change health minus equals one to health plus equals one that's just for testing purposes won't be able to see that until we finish our draw event now and that's the next thing we're going to add so just add the execute code now there's going to be two false statements here the first one's going to be for i equals zero i is below max health i plus equals one now this is for our, uh, our, out, our outline sorry about that this is for our outline and this is going to be the sub image zero that we've created just the outline so we need to put if i is below 10 this is our first row so if i is below 10 draw sprite that sprite that we created sprite heart 0 comma x comma y and we need to change the x and y so that fits in with uh, the i variable that we added so x plus add two brackets and type in sprite get width uh, the sprite that we added which is sprite heart and then times that by i there we go mm, oh yeah I'm just the times thing and that should be done so I'll just copy and paste that so that's the first row for our, for our outline now the second one would be if i is above or equal to 10 
So change that. And then just change this Y thing to Y plus sprite get height. Sprite pot. There we go. So now that's for the first row and that's for the second row. I can probably test this now just to see. Won't be able to use the arrow keys yet. I'm going to add the room. It's going to be where it's placed. Oh. I uh, mistyped a variable there. Where is this? There we go. That's just the test that we did. Oh, yep, sorry about that. <laughs> so obviously, I'll just show you again. Um, it is the second row, but it's following on from the first, so the X hasn't changed. So what, we'll, what we want to do there is, where we've put times i on the second row, we want to delete that and put times and then two brackets and put i minus 10. So this is to make sure that this is this goes up from 1 to 10 even though i is going up to 20. So now if we do that again, there we go. That's what it's going to look like, but I'm obviously I'm going to scale it up and add the fill. But that's the um, that's the outlines. So I'll just put a comment there. Outline of heart, and just copy that and paste that somewhere down here. And I'm just going to change that comment to fill of heart. Now the first thing we want to do is change in the for statement i is below health instead so that it can be changed because max health is going to be a static variable it's not going to be changed while you're in the game unless you like, have a power up or something but health is going to be changed with the arrow keys that, that we added for the test so the only thing that we're going to change here is obviously that health and the sub image thing uh, in here so in the draw sprites just change that to 1 let's play again and obviously now we can take away and we can add all the way up to the top um, this was a pretty simple tutorial um, so obviously you can say if I had a potion here or something in fact I'll scale it up sorry about that it's totally slipped my mind so to enable views you sort of view enable views and visible when room start then change the viewing room to 1 to 8 by 96 well, that's, just, that's just mine 1 to 8 by 96 and the port on screen is sh should be kept to 6 by 480 now with this the our object should be right at the top left so here we go you can see the hearts now um, obviously if we had a potion we could add another row we could probably prog program that in, but I think 20 is enough for this tutorial. If you would like to see me, you know, create a little mini game where you can, you know, add health by collecting potions or coins or something like that, uh, just comment and I'll get that done. But yeah, this is the end of this tutorial. Remember to like, like this video for more. Subscribe if you want to see some more tutorials as well. Uh, comment for other tutorials. And uh, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching and goodbye.